Hello YouTube, I'm Vistabuntu, and this is another episode of my uh, Technic SSP Let's Play series for Minecraft version 1.2.5. Um, today we're going to actually get some stuff taken care of. Um, last episode, the uh, first episode of the series officially, uh, focused on what had been done so far before I started the series um, and my last experiences with this mod pack. So this time I'm actually going to get some things taken care of. Um, I'm going to start out with starting a rubber tree farm and to do that I'm actually going Instead of going to where I know some trees are on the overworld, I'm going to use Mistcraft to create a dimension specifically for swamps in the daytime, partly because I don't want to deal with going all the way over there and it becoming nighttime with mo creatures, mobs, and such. Um, so I'm going to create a Mistcraft age that is specifically daytime all the time and only swamps. Um, that should help not just with getting the, the jungle trees, or sorry, not jungle, rubber, uh, rubber trees, but it should also give me a very large source of clay and sand. Uh, maybe not sand, but I definitely need the clay from that and the rubber, because um, right after I work on that, the plan will be to make some coke ovens using the sand and clay. If there's not enough sand there, I can get the sand from the uh, endless desert bio uh, age here. But once I've got that, then I can start making some coke ovens, which will allow me to start making coal coke, but more importantly, creosote, because normally I don't even deal with Minecraft rails. Um, I mean, there it takes a lot of resources, but with this mod pack, and specifically with the age for dense ores here, it'll be very convenient for me to use some of the railcraft and possibly Steve's carts features later on. And to do that, I need to make rails. And since this mod pack uses railcraft, the um, minecart track. I guess I just need to search for track requires wooden rail bed made from wooden ties which require creosote um, and creosote is made in a coke oven by cooking coal into coal coke or wood into charcoal and I'm going to make it into coal coke um, I think it makes creosote faster but it also the coal coke burns a lot longer than charcoal would um, that wasn't a pun in any way, but, um, so, going to do that, um, so let's get started on that, and then and start working on some other things. First I'm going to empty my inventory a little bit more, because I don't need most of this stuff. Goodbye. Uh, I don't need to breed the chickens. Um, for anyone not familiar, this is covalence dust, and since I'm using iron tools, this particular covalence dust um, is the, the mid-tier one, it's the low tier and the high tier. And the, the mid-tier one allows you to repair your tools. Um, it's from uh, Equivalence Exchange 2. Um, the low tier one, made with charcoal and cobblestone, is super useful early game. Um, but the moment that you get redstone and iron, Covalence dust is pretty, pretty useful. Because um, obviously, who's going to stick with stone tools very far into the game if they have the option of upgrading? Um, and then you have your coal and diamond making the highest tier covalence dust, which lets you repair loads of diamond tools, which is awesome. Um, so what else do I need to drop off? I'll just hang on to this wood, it doesn't really matter. Um, 
have a little bit of food, covalence dust, water bucket. I don't have... Oh, I... that's fine. Um, okay, so yeah, let's get started. I'm going to go to the Mistcraft... Uh, grabbing a linking book, a uh, link book stand. And I'm going to take a book and a feather. These two will make the descriptive book for the new age. And I only need... well, I suppose I'll take two stands. Um, one for the new descriptive book. I'll just leave it out here. Um, yeah. Alright, so here's the descriptive book. I'm not going to put it on the stand yet because I want to configure it myself. If I put it on the stand and go to the edge, it will just generate random stuff and most of the time it won't be useful. Um, okay, so we have Swampland and anything else we should add from here? don't think so. Yeah, I'll just do Swampland. Um, biome controller, single biome. Whoops. Uh, great. There might be a way to get rid of this, but I'm not seeing it. And I don't want to write that to the book, so I might just scrap this book and make a new one. Because I don't... I suppose I could have done that a little bit differently, but I have loads of resources for that, so it's no big deal for me. Okay. Um, let's try this again. Descriptive book. Swampland. Biome controller. Single biome. Lighting. Bright. Less mob spawning. Um, I tried chromatic sky as the sky modifier in my uh, dense ores age, and it's kind of too much, so I'm just going to do a normal sky color. Yeah. Um, terrain features, I want flat. I think that's... No, that's terrain generation. Let's just have caves, crystals, lava lakes. I have crystals in my mining one. Um, I'm not really planning on using this age for much, so I'm just going to leave that empty. Flat. Time. Eternal day. Weather. Fast weather. I don't want it to stick around. Yeah, that should be it. Um, day swamp flat. That should be fine. Okay. So, put that down here. Day swamp flat. Let's go. Swamp is completely underwater. I mean, there's lots of sand and clay, which is what I wanted, but it's completely underwater. Um, hmm. I'm considering scrapping it, because it's just going to be a pain. Um, Yeah. All 
for it. Another linking book. Another feather. I'm gonna make another regular book. Actually, I'll probably make a few. Just so I don't need to do this multiple times. book. I'll put those away. Okay, so this one, swamp, single biome, bright, flat, eternal day, and it made mine shafts and a green sky. So I guess I need to specify something in those categories or it will generate them for me anyway. Um, all right, that's good to know. So going to scrap that one. Okay, so I want swamp and planes. Planes are pretty safe. Um, biome controller, single biome. No, that doesn't work. And I just wrote it to the book. Lovely. Small biomes. Hopefully that overtakes it. We'll see. Um, bright. And I want it to be... Normal sky color. And... Sure, I'll just select several of them. Caves, villages, crystals, lava lakes, mine shafts. I'll just put obel obelisks on there so it doesn't generate anything else. Um, flat, time, fast. Hopefully that makes the trees grow faster if I plant them there. An eternal day. Weather, normal weather, fast weather. So we'll see what happens. Um, I didn't see this other book put a world modifier like Skylands or Dense Ores, so I don't think this one will automatically be appended to it unless maybe it does it by chance, so we'll see. Um, Day Swamp Flat. Alright, so that's the one I want to keep. Scrap this other one. Put this extra linking book in here. Alright, and let's go. So this should actually have some land for me to at least stand on and look for places to start digging. And if it looks okay, then I'm going to throw down a book stand and mark that place on my map so I don't lose it if I go exploring. Because one problem with using these ages is if you're using only a single biome, whoa. What? Something broke. Um, I'm gonna have to, I think, stop the stream right here and figure this out. Um, because it doesn't seem like it's loading right now. 
right, I will continue in another part of this episode. See you guys later.